Hey guys, so it's been some time since I printed another uh, spool holder, and I really like this design. This is a Prototype Asia. Um, I found it on Thingiverse about two years ago and printed this one on my GTEC Aluminum i3. I'll put a link to that right up here. And I really like the design of it. It's so simple and it's really easy to print. I decided to go ahead and print more of them. Uh, so this time I'm going to print it on the TiVo Tornado. Now one thing that uh, TiVo talked to me about recently was they have a, a filament partner and their partner is going to be Prima Creator. Uh, so Prima sent out three rolls of their uh, filament. This one is their PLA. Uh, this is a gold color. In fact, let me just go ahead and open it on up for you. Find something here to open it with. So this one is going to be a gold PLA. Now, the original one that I opened uh, a while back when I very first started printing with some of their printers turned out to be a PETG. And I didn't have a whole lot of luck on it, but I didn't realize at the time it was PTG and I had the wrong settings. So that was a lot of it. So it's going to be interesting to see how this prints. There we go. It's a nice gold color. So it's going to be interesting to see how that prints on this printer. So I'll uh, do some uh, temperature t uh, testing really quick to find out what the perfect temperature is. I'll go ahead and start the print and I'll see you guys at the end of the time lapse. Well guys, after a lot of ordeal and the printer looking a little bit different, finally got to print. Uh, this once again is the Prima Creator 3D uh, filament in the gold. Uh, I don't know but what to say about this design on it. It's, it's something not quite right, either in the settings or something. I, I don't know what to think about it at the moment. I think it might be the salmon skin that I've heard that uh, the TiVo uh, tornadoes are, are kind of notorious for because of the drivers, which means I'm definitely going to be looking into a, a upgrade. Um, did have a lot of ordeal when it came to failures. And where did that screw come from? <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's there's been some uh, some issues come up recently. <laughs> oh goodness! But uh, I'll put a link to my the video that where I took the 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 PEI material off of here. I'll put a link to it right up there. And uh, I, I had to do some work on it. I, I was forced into it. I had some bubbling and stuff. Had too many failures over the over the last few prints I did so I had to do something end up taking that off and, and it, as you could tell it printed just fine it's just the look of of the print is not quite what I thought it would be now that I think I, I think by upgrading the drivers will help that quite a bit but we will see anyway this is the spool holder there's the I turn that around I gotta take the flash off of that part Anyway, I had to take in on the the way the PEI was reacting uh, with the bubbles and everything that was underneath it. I thought by adding a brim to the print that that would help with adhesion, and in the end it didn't. So I ended up having to make the modification to it, which I'm kind of glad I did. Uh, just a little bit of glue on there. Seemed like it printed just fine. But uh, once again, I, I want to thank uh, Prima 3D for sending out this uh, filament. I uh, really appreciate it. Uh, once again, a special thanks to both TiVo and to GearBest for sending out the printer. Uh, I do definitely see a lot of upgrades coming in the future. I'm, once again, I'm not a real huge fan of the look of this. So I think I'm going to go ahead and, and save up my money and try doing a driver upgrade on it. I think that will make a huge difference.
Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Hey, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. When you have a chance, please check out my website, jimmyshawstidbits.com, where you can purchase merchandise through my Public store, as well as check out my Amazon affiliate link as well. Every little bit you purchase that way helps the channel tremendously, and I thank you for it very much. Also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please click on the link over here. And if you'd like to support the channel, please click on my Patreon link over here. Also, if you'd like to watch one of my other videos, please give these a shot. I think you're going to like them. Oh, yeah, you're going to like them, especially that one over there. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.